Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the above and below charting functions. So if you have seen my previous video which is uh, click script peak and previous function and in this function I showed how you can move back and forth into a particular column to get a variance or a required condition done like this one passenger variance which we tried to achieve with the help of uh, peak and previous function where we were trying to figure out a variance between the uh, la current month and the last month so for example we wanted to figure out the difference between the air passenger data in fab as compared to chan so the data we got was six increment of six number from jan to fab so we used it or we completed this uh, scenario with the help of peak function and uh, let me just quickly go in back end and show you where we did that so here we used the previous or peak if you have gone through that video you must have seen that I used the peak also over here to get this required condition done to get this variance data the similar kind of thing we are we are trying to achieve with the help of uh, charting function uh, using the above function and a completely opposite picture as for using the below function so using these above and below function is quite straightforward here in the charts so for that this is the simple table chart that i have used let me just go back and show you uh, the dimensions that i have used is the year and month dimension and within the expression I am using the normal passenger data to show you what exactly the data is and then here passenger variance using above function so here I am using a similar kind of condition which I did it into the exp uh, into the scripting where I mentioned that if month is Jan that means if I'm just at the start of the month then there is no there should not be any variance so put zero and that's what the function has to or the if condition has does but for rest of the months subtract the uh, previous month data from the current month data so here i'm simply wrote that data subtract above and then the field name which is again data so in this case it is giving me six because in this case for fab current field is this 118 which is coming here in data which i have highlighted and the previous is coming here above data which is above to the current month the jan month data 112 and that's why you are getting the difference and the final resulting value is 6 so here in this uh, above function you can directly use field or you can use uh, aggregated data also like you can put sum or something but because i have the data at this lowest lowest level of granularity so i'm directly using the data as a field but i could have used the aggregation like sum of data here and above sum of data if uh, if i have do if i did not have the this lowest level of granularity in my data so similarly you can use the below function which is again straightforward what i am saying is completely opposite over here that if month is december that means the last month then don't go further down below to look for the next value because that will be the value for next year so that's why I put zero when it is last month but in rest of the cases pick the current value data here in this case of month Jan and subtract it to the data which is below to the current data so in this case 118 so 112 minus 118 is minus 6 is what you are getting so in this way you can uh, use or you can go back and forth again uh, into the data that you have fetched from your source tables also uh, if you want uh, to go more than one step down then you can mention over here below data and uh, by how many count you want to go ahead and back so if i am saying go data down below to two points and say simply apply then it is going to two, two step down and then figuring out the difference so in this case uh, uh, 112 is uh, 112 minus 132 is what you are getting minus 20 as a result in this case so as you can clearly see you can go uh, 
up and down using the offset figure which you can mention over here after the column name and similarly in case of above also you can specify the offset number whether it is you want to go above one or two or what it is you can find further explanation into the help also but this is just a quick demonstration to show you how you can use the above and below function in the click view charts so i have hope you have found this video useful and i will meet you in the next video with a new topic